I'm Dr. John Hovenessian. In this video, we'll talk about intracapsular cataract extraction, a useful technique for cataract surgery when the zonular support for the lens is either weak or absent. This 47-year-old patient has a subluxated lens and has vitreous in the anterior chamber, showing us that we will see vitreous during this intracapsular cataract surgery. In this procedure, the conjunctiva is recessed from the superior limbus using Westcott scissors and tooth forceps, and we can achieve hemostasis with diathermy or cautery. Next, a partial thickness incision is made at the limbus superiorly to about 50% thickness. This allows a two-plane incision that will next enter the anterior chamber as we use a keratome blade. This wound with the keratome or other instrument is then extended left and right, to allow just enough access that we can place our two safety sutures before opening the rest of the incision. Our safety sutures are 90 nylon and are looped so that the suture won't be in the way of the next step when we want to remove the lens. Before we remove the lens we have to extend the incision left and right between the loops of the suture and this allows then the assistant to lift the cornea while the surgeon using a Wexel sponge dries the lens surface which allows the cryoprobe to stick to the lens. In this case, some vitreous comes forward, and still the cryoprobe sticks to the lens because the interface between the two is dry. The surgeon next rocks or moves the lens back and forth in order to loosen zonular attachments while slowly removing it from the eye. Next, the vitreous attachments are cut using scissors, and we have an aphakic eye with some vitreous prolapse. Air is used to tamponade this vitreous and the large amounts of it that are coming forward are swept with a blunt spatula and some additional vitreous removal with scissors is performed. Now that the vitreous is out of the way we can tighten down the sutures which allow us a much more closed and therefore safe system. Next we can perform some mechanical vitrectomy to remove any smaller amounts of vitreous that are coming forward. Once we're free of any remaining vitreous, we can place myocol in the eye and perform a peripheral iridotomy before placing the sheets glide, which will direct the lens implant into the anterior chamber. The lens is an Alcon Multiflex anterior chamber lens, and it's directed carefully over the sheets glide into the chamber, and then the glide is removed. With the glide out of place, we can then tuck the trailing haptic into the superior anterior chamber angle and next we can use a Sinsky hook or other instrument like a Kuglin hook to manipulate the lens to be sure that its foot plates are properly positioned in the angle. The remaining sutures are placed and a Seidel test can then confirm that we have a completely sealed incision or else additional sutures are placed. Finally we pull forward the remaining conjunctiva and use just the fibrinogen component of fibrin tissue sealant to secure it to the limbus over the wound. I'm Dr. John Hovenessian. Thanks for watching.